This video is brought to you by mybookie.ag. Use our promo code ATMMA and mybookie will match your deposit halfway up to $1,000. Simply play, win and get paid. I'm just me. <laughs> I don't try and be anything else. A lot of people a lot of people can relate to me. And even those who can't, those who don't like me, they're still going to watch because they want to see me fall. So it's going to shoot my, my stock up all the way. Israel Adesanya is someone who has had a remarkably fast road to the top of his division. In less than a two-year span, he went from making his UFC debut to becoming an undefeated world champion. And now, the middleweight superstar is set to make his first title defence against a very dangerous challenge in Yoa Romero. So for this video, we thought it would be a good time to take a look back at Israel Adesanya's UFC career and go over his rapid rise from a relatively unknown prospect to an MMA superstar. As always, if you guys enjoy this video then please be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to our channel. Now without further ado, let's jump straight into a complete timeline of Israel Adesanya's UFC career. Part 1 – His Background in Combat Sports Although Israel Adesanya didn't sign with the UFC until December of 2017, he had been competing as a professional fighter for well over six years before joining the organization. Prior to his UFC run, Adesanya had built a reputation as one of the best fighters outside of the octagon. In his earlier days, he competed as a boxer, a kickboxer and an MMA fighter, making his professional MMA debut in 2012. Adesanya competed all over the world, amassing an 11-0 record with all of his wins coming by way of KO or TKO. He also made a big name for himself in the kickboxing circuit, winning 75 fights as well as the Glory Middleweight Contender Tournament. Though he failed to capture the actual Glory Middleweight title, he had established himself well as one of the deadliest strikers outside of the UFC. So naturally, the UFC soon caught wind of the New Zealand prospect. And in December of 2017, it was announced that Adesanya had officially signed with the promotion. Part 2 – His UFC Debut After years of fighting professionally, Adesanya was finally ready to make his much-anticipated UFC debut in February of 2018. His first fight came against Rob Wilkinson at UFC 221, who at the time was sporting a respectable 11-1 record. Adesanya made a great first impression during his first fight with the UFC, finishing Wilkinson by TKO in round 2. The win even netted the New Zealand fighter his first performance of the night bonus. Part 3 – His Rise to Title Contention While his debut in the UFC went rather smoothly, Adesanya's next opponent proved to be a far greater challenge. In just his second UFC fight, Adesanya faced off against up-and-coming talent Marvin Vittori on the main card of UFC on Fox 29 back in April of 2018. During the fight, both Adesanya and Vittori pushed each other to the limit for three rounds in what proved to be his toughest fight at the time. In the end, Adesanya's elite striking and head movement earned in favour with the judges, who awarded Adesanya the win in a hard-fought split decision victory. This became the first fight in Adesanya's MMA career that ended up going the full distance. After a narrow victory over Marvin Vittori, Adesanya earned his first main event opportunity at the Ultimate Fighter 27 finale, fighting against UFC veteran Brad Tavares back in July of 2018. In the eyes of many skeptics, this would be a big test for Adesanya. At the time, Tavares was sporting an impressive record of 17-4 and, and riding a four-fight winning streak. This gave many the idea that he'd be too much to handle for the relatively untested Israel Adesanya. Even with a step up in competition, Adesanya essentially ran through Tavares, in the process earning a dominant unanimous decision in a one-sided affair. The win also earned Adesanya his second performance of the night bonus, and even though this was his first headliner since joining the UFC ranks, he seemed to take to the big stage like a natural, proving that he could compete with the best on the roster. The win sent a big statement to the rest of the division, and silenced many who had doubted the rising prospect. Following his dismantling of Brad Tavares at the finale of The Ultimate Fighter 27, Israel Adesanya would see yet another big step up in competition. This time though, it would come in the form of one of the division's top contenders, Derek Brunson. The two middleweight rivals were set to kick off the main card of UFC 230 in November of 2018, with Adesanya entering the fight as one of the hottest new prospects. 
As such, all eyes were tuned in to see if Adesanya could continue to extend his undefeated record and prove himself to be a top-ranked middleweight. In the end, one round was all it took for Adesanya to put a stop to Derek Brunson, finishing him by technical knockout with just 9 seconds left on the clock, who proved once again that he could compete with top-caliber opponents. Part 4 Facing an MMA legend With the world quickly catching on to his talents, the UFC decided to thrust Israel Adesanya into the spotlight and give him an opponent who had worldwide recognition. So, in February of 2019, Israel Adesanya would see himself come up against the biggest name of his fighting career, that man, Anderson the Spider Silver. The former middleweight champion was by all measures a legend in the sport, one who had dominated the 185 pound division between 2006 and 2012. However, most analysts favoured Adesanya heading into the fight. Adesanya was a young, undefeated contender who had been making leaps and bounds each time he stepped into the octagon. Meanwhile, Anderson Silva had struggled to look like the dominant champion he once was, losing four out of his last five fights. Still, it was an intriguing matchup nonetheless. The two drew a lot of comparisons in terms of their fighting styles, given that both were dynamic stand-up fighters. There was also the name value that Anderson Silva brought to the table, meaning that a victory over a legend like Silva, even a 43-year-old version of him, would be a nice name to add to Adesanya's resume. The pair were originally set up as the co-main event of UFC 234, but after the initial headliner fell apart, Silva and Adesanya were moved up to fill in as the main event, making the matchup even more interesting. Despite a rather large age gap, Silva did surprisingly well against Adesanya even though it would ultimately be in a losing effort. As fans expected, the fight was primarily a stand-up battle, full of flashy strikes and exciting exchanges. While Silva had his fair share of moments, it was Adesanya who held a clear advantage in all areas of the fight. Overall, the fight was somewhat of a chess match, but in the end, the judges scored the fight in favour of Israel Adesanya, awarding him a unanimous decision victory as well as the biggest win of his career. Part 5 capturing the interim title. In February of 2019, top contender Kelvin Gastelum was originally set to challenge middleweight champ Robert Whittaker for the undisputed title. But when Whittaker suffered a last-minute hernia and required emergency surgery, both fighters were pulled from the event. Due to the unknown timetable for Whittaker's return, an interim title bout was created between Kelvin Gastelum and Israel Adesanya. The two were set to co-headline UFC 236, with the winner being granted a shot at Whittaker upon his return. Fresh off the back of his victory over Anderson Silva, Adesanya entered the contest with a 16-0 record, as well as all the momentum in the world. Meanwhile, Kelvin Gastelum was riding a two-fight winning streak, and came into the fight hungry to capture UFC gold. While many assumed the two would deliver an exciting fight, no one could have predicted what came next. For 25 minutes, both men put each other through absolute hell in one of the best fights in UFC history. Heading into the final round, the general consensus was that the fight was scored 2-2 between both fighters, meaning that the fifth round would ultimately be the deciding factor in who would walk away as the interim champ. In what was a make-or-break moment, Adesanya came into the fifth round like a man on a mission, pushing through the pain and dropping Gastelum several times to steal the round. Looking back, both men showed plenty of heart, but when the dust finally settled, it was Adesanya who would win a unanimous decision, and with it, the interim belt. The fight was widely regarded as the fight of the year, and one that earned Adesanya a fight of the night award. Now, with Adesanya holding a piece of the middleweight title, his next move was to face Robert Whittaker in a title unification bout later that year. Part 6 – Seizing the Undisputed Title in the span of just 14 months, Adesanya went from making his UFC debut to capturing UFC gold. It was certainly an impressive accomplishment, but his biggest test still awaited him, and that was the undisputed middleweight champion, Robert Whittaker. After months of recovery, Robert Whittaker was finally cleared to return in late 2019, taking on Israel Adesanya at UFC 243 in a highly anticipated title unification bout. 
Coming into the fight, Whitaker had only fought once since July of 2017, while Adesanya had fought a total of six times during that same period. Whitaker had also faced a multitude of injuries and health issues, which had kept the Australian fighter sidelined for the better part of two years. He was also coming off of two gruelling wars with Yoa Romero, which had left him with an injured knee and a broken hand. All that being said, Whitaker came into the fight fully recovered and determined. And to add to all that, this would be Robert Whitaker Whitaker's first official title defence, and the fact he was fighting in front of a home crowd gave him extra motivation. For fans, this was Adesanya's big moment. If he could get past someone as battle-tested as Robert Whitaker, well, there would be no one left to doubt him. In the final second of what was a competitive first round, Adesanya cracked Whitaker with a perfectly timed right hand that sent him straight down to the canvas. Had the horn not sounded shortly after, perhaps the fight could have ended there. However, the knockdown would spell the beginning of the end for Whitaker. Though he came out strong in round two, a counter left hook from Adesanya sent Whitaker falling to the mat once again. Adesanya then followed up with a few additional shots to close the show. The sensational knockout win earned Adesanya the undisputed middleweight belt, extending his undefeated record to the perfect 18-0. The victory was the culmination of years of hard work, and with it, he completed his remarkable rise to stardom. As the new king of the 185 pound division, Adesanya has some hungry challenges lined up. And with that said, I'm sure we'll all be eager to see how things play out for him at UFC 248. Before we wrap up this video, we'd like to say a quick thank you to MyBookie for sponsoring this video. What's great is if you join right now, MyBookie will match your deposit halfway, all the way up to $1,000. For example, if you deposit $2,000, you'll receive an extra $1,000 in free money to play with. For those of you who are interested, be sure to check out the link provided below and use our promo code ATMMA. This will activate your offer. Simply play, win and get paid. As always, if you guys enjoy this video, then please be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to our channel. Apart from that, thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you on the next video.